Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel, Real Men Get It Done. Unfortunately, uh, today's video is kind of, sorry, but today's video is a little painful for me because I'm actually highlighting my journey for my uh, Tesla getting broken into. Um, so when it initially happened, I didn't know that it was broken into. It was a very cold night. We were dealing with some crazy weather here in the South. So I honestly thought my window had busted and shattered. Um, but upon further review and checking my uh, Century um, camera alarm system, I was able to download that footage and see that yes, my vehicle is actually broken in two. So um, this video is highlighting kind of that, um, me having to go through the whole ordeal all the way to getting to Tesla and getting them to repair the actual window. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to do so, please like, share, subscribe, Real Men Get It Done, uh, just a channel that is a labor of love showing um, everything that I do from uh, my vehicle to cleaning to cooking, uh, just a, a, a mixture of a little bit of everything. Um, but stay tuned and check out this video um, so you can kind of see how I had to navigate through uh, the challenges of having the window busted out. Uh, so let's get to it. Here are the supplies that I got. Duct tape was about $4 and some change. And then this vinyl was only $3. So, you know, it came six feet. It was uh, really relatively cheap. And um, it was recommended on YouTube because it's flexible and, and, and kind of stretches a little bit. But as I say, it's, it's, it's done its job thus far. So this is the spot where my car was parked. As you can see, it's still remnants of glass that are on the floor from when it happened. The casino is right there. Camera over there, camera right there. And what I thought happened was that the guy parked himself either here, or I think he parked himself here. When I look at the Tesla video, that the, the guy probably parked himself here because it looked like he kind of followed me when I look at the sentry mode and that he slid in between or even parked here, parked here. He slid in between these two cars to where my car was at right here. So I'm gonna go in and talk to the detectives and the personnel and see where we go from here. So after I had the opportunity, and this was actually a couple of days later, I connected with the hotel security and um, actually waited for them to see if they could find anything on their security footage as well. Come to find out, they did. They were able to actually trace him breaking not only into my car, but another car, which turned out to be an employee of the casino. And then they traced him coming back into the facility. So um, not necessarily the smartest criminal, uh, but he had actually gambled in the casino. So they had his official ID with his name, address, uh, everything on there. So they were able to, we were able to a few days later make the official police report. Um, and I was able to, of course, say I wanted to be prosecuted and they were able to generate a warrant for his arrest. Now, I'm not saying that anything's going to even come of it uh, once they eventually do catch him, like if he'll be able to even pay me back for the busted window. But again, it's the principle of it that you can't go break into people's cars and hopefully it will deter him from doing it the next time. Right, 
so four hours later got a new window and we are officially headed back home so did you guys have a good time today? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. going even warmer okay so one of the things that happened with uh getting the new windshield not windshield one of the things happened with getting the new um window installed is that they were still glass that was inside of the tesla window so i was able to connect with actually the tesla mobile center which is here at my house right now which is pretty cool and they are going um actually cleaning all the uh glass out and checking my windows because i had a few other window issues so i just wanted to add that part to the video because i thought it was pretty cool of being able to connect with the mobile unit to have them come out uh, now my tech did not want to be on camera which is understandable but he's back there um fixing it as we speak so i'm just gonna zoom in a little bit not to get him on camera or anything but just to show that they're actually um doing the work here right in my driveway so it's pretty cool <laughs> 